Today, we're guiding you on a culinary adventure to create a homemade hazelnut coffee cake from scratch. We'll be using two cups of hazelnuts, two cups of flour, one cup of sugar, three tablespoons of coffee, six ounces of butter, three large eggs, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Let's embark on this delicious endeavor. Firstly, you'll need to set the oven to a moderate 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Simultaneously, prepare a baking pan that measures 8 inches on each side, that's an 8-inch square, by greasing and flouring it or alternatively, lining it with parchment paper. Next, we shift our focus to the delectable streusel topping. In a mid-sized bowl, blend together 1 and 1 half cups of flour, 3 quarters cup of brown sugar, 1 tablespoon of cinnamon, and 1 cup of chopped hazelnuts. Incorporate the cold cubed butter into the mix until the combination takes on the texture of coarse crumbs. Once the streusel topping is set aside, it's time to mix the dry ingredients for the cake. In a large bowl, combine two cups of flour, one cup of ground hazelnuts, one and one four cups of sugar, one two teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Simultaneously, in another bowl, cream together one cup of softened butter, three eggs, half a cup of milk, and two tablespoons of vanilla extract until the mixture is smooth. Gradually add this to the dry ingredients, stirring until just combined. Here's a pro tip. Avoid overmixing to keep the cake light and fluffy. Now the fun part, assembling the cake. Pour the batter into your prepared baking pan, then sprinkle the streusel topping evenly over the batter. Into the oven it goes. Bake for 35, 40 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. As the cake cools down, let's get started on preparing the optional glaze. You'll need to whisk together one and one half cups of powdered sugar, three tablespoons of milk or coffee, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract until the mixture is smooth. If you feel the need to adjust the consistency, you can add more milk or powdered sugar as necessary. Once the cake has cooled, drizzle the glaze over the top. Allow the glaze to set before serving. And there you have it a homemade hazelnut coffee cake. A perfect blend of nutty flavor and sweetness, all topped with a crunchy streusel and optional glaze. Baking is an art, so feel free to experiment and make this recipe your own. Enjoy this delightful treat with a cup of coffee or as an indulgent dessert. Do like, share, and subscribe for more culinary adventures.